Weisenberger, and today I'd like to talk about how to record and analyze data using the scientific method. The scientific method is a way of answering and solving biological questions through the means of observation and experimentation. So let's first go over the steps of the scientific method. The first step is to observe the phenomenon. And next, we define the question. And collecting information in order to, in step four, generate a hypothesis. And that is a statement that we will be testing via experimentation. Uh, once we have that hypothesis, we perform experiments in order to prove or disprove our hypothesis. And typically, uh, this is done through the use of replicate samples, controls, things of that nature, so that the experiment is performed as uh, well as possible. Uh, then we record the data, analyze it, and interpret the results. And in the interpretation stage, if we find that the, that the findings does not support the hypothesis, then we go back, formulate a new hypothesis, and redo the steps of the method. As far as recording and analyzing data, that really depends on the type of experiment that is being performed. It could be observational data, uh, looking at behavior of animals. It could be analyzing molecular data. Um, and so the, the means of recording and analyzing those, those data sets are, are unique to that, um, to that particular question. But here in the method, it's a very stringent way of finding a hypothesis and trying to address that to either accept it or reject it. This is how to analyze and interpret data using the scientific method. I'm Dan Weisenberger.